It's Tyler. And Susan Shore. And we are out. And about Sarasota. Where are we at today, Sus? We are at Burns Court Cafe and Jazz Club. That's right. You know what I say. Let's go on in and take a gander. We are here with Ari Eisenberg, who is the owner of Burns Court Cafe. Is that true? Yes, it is. What a fabulous place. This has just got the really cool Mediterranean, sort of European New York vibe. Is that what you were going for? Yeah, I'm trying. Uh, the moment you go inside the door, you're not in Sarasota anymore. I don't feel like I'm in Sarasota. York, yeah. Paris, Tel Aviv, or other, other places in the world. Totally cool. How long have you had this restaurant? I opened it seven years ago. Okay. It started with the other side, with the cafe, uh -huh. and then we added four years ago the wine bar. This is awesome. This is like one of the coolest places I have actually been to in Sarasota. It's amazing. So tell us about some of your specialties. You told me you have 200 bottles of wine. Is that yeah. true? We have in our wine list uh, more than 200 different bottles uh, of wines from all over the world, white and red. Interesting uh, selection of wines that a lot of places in Sarasota doesn't carry. Give us some examples. Um, from simple wines to more expensive wines, a nice variety of whites and reds, from a lot of wines from France, Bordeaux, uh -huh. Italy, uh, Spain, Old World considered, uh -huh. um, and a lot of wines from California, from uh, Argentina, from oh. other parts of the world, nice. South Mendoza. Africa, Mendoza, yeah, South Patagonia Africa. even, I have wines uh, from Patagonia. Cool, I've been there, that's awesome. Yeah, <laughs> yeah very cool. So tell us about the food as well. I know we're going to try it in a little bit, but tell us a little bit about it. So the cafe, basically a lot of uh, influence, French influences, uh -huh. uh, especially my mother, she's French too. So that's a lot of French influences. And the wine bar um, concentrated in a me the Mediterranean Bay. So the influences coming from all over the bay, from Spain, Italy, France, Israel, and North Africa, a little bit that ties the whole Mediterranean Bay. I love it. The spices, the food, the, the colors, the everything. Totally cool. And what about your entertainment? Do you have entertainment every night? We open four nights, four evenings. We do mostly jazz. Okay. Uh, tonight it will be a Cuban jazz, Buena Vista Social Club. Uh -huh. We'll play here. Uh, we have, we're going to have a full house tonight. And uh, Wednesdays, Fridays, Saturdays we have jazz. What unique in Friday, for example, um, the guy that plays every Friday here is 92 years old. Wow, and 92. He, yeah, and he made with Louis Armstrong, What a Wonderful World. No way, yeah. that's awesome. Yeah, and he plays here for a while, he's amazing. That's so cool, yeah. we have to come back on a Friday. So tell us where we can find you online. Uh, BurnsGoldCafe.com And what about Facebook? The same, Great. yeah, the same Facebook, Burns Gold Cafe. Well, we look forward to trying the food. All right, I'm here with Ari. Ari, how are you? I'm fine, thank you very much. Wow, what a phenomenal place you have here. Tell our viewers a little bit about the art that you have here on the wall. Well, I, um, when I opened it, I, the cafe and the wine bar, I designed it. And this one was dedicated kind for music and jazz. That was the concept. And some, um, some old-fashioned uh, feeling. Um, so that was the that was the concept and based on that i designed and i picked the colors and uh, even the the wall the brick wall i built it um that it will look that i expose it from the wall basically but oh, wow. I, I build it from i build it from scratch yeah wow that's um, incredible on the concept of the tables the the colors the how they, they uh, organized the reflection of the lights on the things on the walls, all those uh, old stuff on the wall, and that was the uh, idea. Wow, so this great concept and cafe is right here in Burns Court. Tell our viewers a little bit about your address here. Uh, 401 South Pineapple Avenue. That's right. And what about your hours here, all right? 8.30 in the morning we open and till uh, 3 o'clock we're serving breakfast and lunch and then six, four nights we're from 6 till the last customer. Great. So tell us a little bit about the food that you provided for us tonight. Okay. 
So there's a combination of food that comes from the cafe and, and from the wine bar. Oh, great. We have some nice salad. This is a beet salad, roasted beet with goat cheese, walnuts, um, dill, a lot of spices that I use. It's very uh, Mediterranean spices that I don't see them often. I have even a uh, black cumin. As the seeds of black woman, they look like a roasted uh, sesame seeds, but they're coming from Israel, and uh, they is that the inspiration behind the food? That's yeah, all that in, all the Mediterranean Bay. Mm. It's the the inspiration Great. and the flavors mostly. Mm. This is very Mediterranean plate. It's a egg, roasted eggplant with tahini sesame, uh, with egg, boiled egg, and a and a pickle on the top. Mm. Very nice. You you have amazing flavors coming into Absolutely. this. Absolutely, Susan's tapas. favorite. Yeah, <laughs> and right. that, that's very med, that's very uh, uh, Spanish because it's Spanish. A, a tapas kind of mm. presentation. Yeah, small plate that you bite with, you know, pick up with the hands and eat hand food. This is my version for the salmon and the cheese. Oh, I call it uh, salmon flowers because mm -hmm. the presentation it's like a bouquet of flowers. Uh, the main leaves obviously is the dill. That coming and refreshing the flavors and giving some more flavors into that. Um, we do bosan cheese, French bosan cheese. We do that in home here. Tapenada olives and some um, um, I forgot the capers. Yeah, capers. <coughs> Next uh, dish it's a uh, pate, chicken liver pate that we do here, and we do a uh, onion jam. So that's mm. together. Amazing flavors. Yes, yeah, Suze loves that as well. <laughs> <laughs> <coughs> and uh, sea bass cooked in tomato mm. sauce mm -hmm. <coughs> with a bit of spice, a bit of hot sauce, and, you know, flavors. So very nice, very Mediterranean too. That's very, very Mediterranean. And the flagship of the cafe that we serve almost the, the whole day, it's the quiche. This is My favorite, so no yeah. wonder it's the flagship. <laughs> <laughs> well, this, is a, this is spinach, goat cheese, and red roasted pepper wow. quiche. Um, Pretty popular at lunch then? Very. Um, breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Wow. Really. Well, that's the great thing about quiche. Yeah. It's universal. Yeah, 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 yeah. And that's part of the things. I mean, that's not all the things. We have a right. nice menu, but this is a nice uh, presentation. Of and what time do you close here? Um, till the last customer, the music finished about around 9.30. And okay. then when everybody's leaving, we close. Great. We look forward to trying this all out. We'll tell you all about just how it all turns out. So, Suze, what did you choose tonight for your meal? I have the Mediterranean beet salad with sesame seeds that I understand he sources from Israel. So, I'm with goat cheese. I'm looking forward to this. Mm. Fabulous. I love it. Yeah, what else did you try? Oh, it has cumin on it, too. That's great. This is an eggplant tapa. I'm not going to have the entire thing because it might not be good manners on television, so I'm just going to try a little <laughs> bit. We always have to have the right etiquette. A little bit of the eggplant. That's great. Very savory. It's cold. It's delicious. Really, really good. So what did you try tonight, Tyler? So I got the quiche, which has some phenomenal spinach, goat cheese, and some roasted peppers. Looks great. Really good. Really, really good. No wonder this is like the number one thing that's ordered here. It's phenomenal. So tonight I'm trying the salmon, which has a borzen cheese. It also has capers, and it's topped with a cumin spice. Mm. It has a very good taste. So I'm also trying tonight the sea bass, which is in a tomato-based sauce. It's very tender, it just uh, flakes off. Mm. It's excellent. Looks like it's topped with some sesame seeds. We are here with Renacito Avich. How are you doing tonight? Great. How about you? Fabulous. If you guys don't know Renacito, you are the most amazing flamenco Cuban guitarist Thank extraordinaire. You. Thanks. Thank you. So what are we in for tonight? So we are in Burns Court Cafe. I play here every Tuesday from 7.30 to 9.30. And I, as you see, I have a beautiful crowd here every Tuesday. I, I hope you guys are part of the crowd every week here. So is it more flamencos, uh, Latin-oriented, or is it jazz, or what is it? Well, 
I play Cuban music, but this atmosphere is more intimate, so I play like a concert. People came here to listen to music, drink wine, they are having dinner and having fun too. Always there's people who is coming to dance, always with Cuban music, you know, they, they like to dance a lot. Absolutely. So where can we find out more about you, Renesito? So I have my website. The website is renesitoavich.com. If you go there, you can see all the places that I'm performing around. So do you sing? I do. Can you sing us out? Absolutely. If, go ahead and sing. Guantanamera, Guajira, Guantanamera, Guantanamera, Guajira, Guantanamera. Thank you, Renesito. We you. can't wait to hear you perform. Absolutely. Thank you. <laughs> All right. Burns Court Cafe and Jazz Bar. Phenomenal. We had a phenomenal time here. So amazing. This is the coolest place I've been to on a Tuesday night. It's like being in LA or New York or Tel Aviv. It's awesome. Who knew? It's so quaint. It's so cool. It's so hip. It's the place to be. So tell us, Suze, what do we have tonight for dessert? My favorite part. We have the apple Normandy tort, and I'm actually going to take a little tiny bite. Since it has fruit in it, I might as well try it, right? That's right. It's fat free. Delicious. Fat free. Fat free. I love it. <laughs> and I have the chocolate mousse. That looks great. You can't go wrong with chocolate mousse. Really perfect. Not too big. Perfect portion. Absolutely. If you don't know this lady to my left, it's Susan Short. Family Beautiful Magazine. Pick it up in any of your local what? You can get it at most Walgreens. You can get it at Lakewood Grand Cinemas, Burn Squirt, Movie Fitters, which is right down the street. You can get it at every high-end car dealership. You can get it at a lot of high-end restaurants, hair salons, and spas. That's right. Well, thanks again for joining me, and we'll see you again when we're out. And about Sarasota. Out and about Sarasota is sponsored by the following. This has been an Out About Media Production, a product of Sarasota Socialites.